Hello guys, I hope you are doing really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra and in this video I am going to show you 16 powerful features for this tablet. So let's start. The first feature is about using Gemini for explaining different things. For example, you are scrolling through a website and you want to summarize key points. So just swipe from this corner like this it will open the Gemini and here it is also giving you this option of ask about this screen. So you can select this option, it will take the screenshot for this page and now you can ask anything. For example, I will write here summarize key points and then I will send this command. Now Gemini will start summarizing the key points on this page. So here is the final result. Now you can also copy this text. So here is the copy option. I will copy this text. Now you can use this text in your notes. So I will open my notes and then I will take out this edge panel. So here is the text. So you can press and hold it like this and you can drag and drop it to your notes. And later if you want you can edit it, you can highlight it as well. The next feature is about multitasking. So you can open three different apps in split screen. For example, I open this website and now I want to take notes. So I will select this note taking app and then I will drag and drop here in split screen. Now I can start taking my notes and I can also use this website. The next thing is you can also bring any image from a website to your notes. For example, I want to bring these two images. I will press and hold it like this and then I will select this option of clip subject from background. It will only select these two images and then I will use my S Pen and then I will bring these two images to my notes. And later if you want you can also edit these images as well. The next thing is same way you can also bring any text. For example, I want to bring this text to my notes. So I will start selecting this text. So for example, I will select this text till here. Now again I will press and hold it like this and I can also drag and drop this text to my notes and later if you want you can also do the highlighting and you can also edit this text as well. The next thing is you can also open another app. So for example I want to open this calculator app. I will just drag and drop here in split screen. Now I can work on all of these three apps together. You can also bring any data from this app to your notes. For example I want to bring these numbers. I will press and hold it like this. And and then I can also drag and drop it to my notes. The next feature is about voice recording and transcript inside Samsung Notes. For example, you have a lecture going on and you want to do the audio recording of that lecture. So select this plus icon and then select voice recording. It will start recording the lecture and in the meantime you can also take your notes. Once you finish with your recording, you can select this stop option and your recording will save inside your notes. The next thing is you you can also get a transcript of that recording. Select this list option and then select this T icon. And then from here you have to select this option of transcribe and then it will start generating the transcription for that voice recording. So here is the transcript. The next thing is you can also get a summary of that transcript. So here is the summary option. The other thing is you can also bring this transcript to your notes. So what you have to do use your S Pen and then press and hold it like this and then you can drag and drop it to your notes and later if you want you can also edit it. The next feature is about Samsung ecosystem. So whatever I copy on one Samsung device, it will also be available on my Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra. For example, I will take out this edge panel and you can see the clipboard is currently empty. Now I open a website on my Samsung phone. So for example, I open this website and now for example, I like this image and now I want to copy this image. So I will press and hold it like this and then I will select this option of copy image. Now the same image will be available on my tab S10 Ultra. Now this time if I take out this edge panel and you can see the same image is now available on my clipboard. Now if you want you can also use this image. So for example I open my notes okay and then I will take out this edge panel. I will press and hold it like this and I can easily drag and drop this image to my notes. 
The next feature is about auto format handwritten notes. For example, I open my handwritten notes and now I want to convert these notes into headings and bullet points. So I will select this note assist tool and then I will select auto format and then I will select meeting notes and then I will select generate text layout. So the AI will start converting these handwritten notes into text and then it will also organize it into the headings and bullet points. So here is the final result. You can also scroll it like this and it will show you different formats. So you can select any of these formats and then you can use these formats in your notes. The next feature is about screen of memo. For example, your tablet is locked and you are in a hurry and you want to write something important. So just press this S Pen button and then tap on the screen two times like this. It will open the screen of memo and here you can write anything important. Once you finish with your writing, you can select this save option and your screen of memo will be saved in your Samsung notes. The next feature is about sketch to image. So you can use AI to create any image. So you have to select this air command and then from here you can use this sketch to image option. And then what you have to do select this opacity icon and then you can reduce the opacity. Now you can see this image behind and now you can trace on that image. So for example I will start tracing. And now from here you can select any style. So if I select this arrow here you can select watercolor, illustration, sketch, pop art, 3D cartoon. So I will select this illustration and then I will select this generate option. So the AI will start generating an image from that sketch and then you can use that image. You just have to wait for a few seconds. So here is the final result. So if you scroll it like this, you have different style options available. So you can select any of these styles. So this will be really, really helpful in generating different type of ideas. And if you want to use any of of these images you can select these three dots and then you can copy it and you can also download these images as well the next feature is about adding whole web page to your notes for example i open my notes and here i will start taking notes now for example i want to add a web page to these notes so i will open the internet browser in split screen now here you can see i open this website now for example i want this website in my notes so here you can see I have this option of link and whole page. So I will select this whole page option and then it will start adding this whole website to my notes. So here you can see the same website is now available in my notes with all the images and the same text. Now you can write on it you can do the highlighting so for example you can highlight the text and you can use all of these tools you can also select the page sorter option and then you can access any page in this website the next feature is about circle to solve math for example here i will write this math expression so 49 plus 52 divided by 43 and then I will press and hold this home button and then I will circle around this expression. So it will simplify this expression for me. So here you can see the result. You can also select this show solving steps and then it will show you all these steps. The next thing is it will also show you this calculator with the answer. You can copy this information and then you can use it. The next feature is about eye comfort shield. So for example, if you want to read for a longer period of time, you can use the eye comfort shield option. So what you have to do, you have to bring down this quick panel and then from here you have to press and hold this eye comfort shield option. And then you have to turn it on from here and then you can change the color temperature for eye comfort shield. So for example, I will bring it to maximum like this and now you can open this book reading app and now you can read for a longer period of time. The next feature is about AI email composer. So you can use AI to write an email for you. So you have to select this chat assist tool, then select composer and then here you have to write your main idea. For example, I want to write an email about feeling unwell to attend the lecture. So I will write over here 
and then I have the option to generate. So I will select this generate option. So AI will generate an email for me and then I can use that email. So here is the final result. And now you can select this insert option. You can edit it and then you can send it. One more thing I want to mention here is below this video, you see this like button. If you press it like this, it will change its color. You can try this experiment. The next feature is about this official book cover keyboard for Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra. So here at the back side we have this kickstand. You can open it to any position and then you can use your tablet with keyboard. At the back side we also have this cover for S Pen. So you can attach your S Pen magnetically like this and then you can also cover it. The next thing is this keyboard has a lot of features. So for example if I press this function key and then I will press this DEX key it will open the Samsung DEX and here you will have a complete desktop experience. So here you can see I have my apps over here and I also have this taskbar. So this keyboard also has this trackpad so you can use this trackpad for different functions. For example you can open multiple apps and you can also resize these apps. So here you can see I can open different apps. Now if I want to resize these apps I can easily resize them as well and I can also work on all of these apps together. The next thing is this keyboard also has this new AI key. So if I press this AI key it will open the Gemini and here I can ask anything from Gemini. So now I will close this book cover keyboard and you can see this is how it looks like from the back and this is how it looks like from the front and you can see the sides are open but the tablet is fully protected. So guys this keyboard cover has two parts. So first you have to remove this keyboard part. So you can remove it from here like this and then we have this back part. So if you want to remove it you can easily remove it because it is magnetically attached. There are a lot of new AI features inside Samsung Notes. For example I open my notes and here I have this PDF file. Now I want to generate a summary for this PDF file. So I will select this note assist tool and then I will select summarize and from here I will select maximum and then I will select generate summary. So AI will start generating a summary. So here is the summary for this whole PDF. You can also change the style. So I will select the settings icon and then from here I will select detail and then I will select done. Now AI will generate a detailed summary for this PDF file. So here is the detailed summary. Now you can copy it. So here is the copy option and you can add it to notes as well. You can also use sketch to image option inside Samsung notes. So here you can see I draw this sketch using my S Pen and now I want to convert it into an AI image. So I will select this note assist tool and then I will select sketch to image and then I will circle around this sketch using my S Pen. And then you can see I had different options available. So if I select this arrow from here I can select any style. So for example I select watercolor and then I will select generate. So the AI will start generating an image for me and then I can use that image. So here you can see the final result. So you can also scroll it like this and it will give you different styles. So you can select any of these styles and then you can add it to your notes. You can also use this handwriting help tool. So now whatever I write it will align it into the straight line. So this will be really really helpful for your handwritings. And we also have this new laser pointer tool. So this will be really helpful in your presentations. You can also change the color for your laser pointer as well. Now let's talk about S Pen. So guys this S Pen is included with this tablet and it has a lot of functionalities. For example if you want to take the picture you just have to press and hold this S Pen button and it will turn on the camera. Now for example I want to switch to the front camera 
again I will press this button and then I will do this air gesture and then it will switch to the front camera. Now for example I want to take the picture, again I will press this button and I can take the picture. I can also switch to the video mode so I will just do this air gesture and it will turn on the video mode. I can also go for more options as well. So you can use this S Pen for note taking, for drawing and you can also use it in different designing apps. I will make a separate video about it. You can also use this tablet for digital planning. So here for example I am using Penly app and you can see I have this amazing yearly planner. So I can select any month from this side. I can also select any day from this side. I can select to do list and then I also have the notes format option. So I can select any format. For example I select this format and on top I have different tools. For example I will select this pen tool and now I can write on this planner. You can also create hyperlinks. So guys this is for today's video. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.